Before we start off this video today, man, I just gotta say I've been realizing on this road trip that I could really, really use some help editing these videos. For the past four years, I've been grinding out the edits and the fishing and everything myself. But now that we're on this crazy road trip and everything, there's a lot of stuff. In the description below, there will be a link to a form that you can fill out and apply to uh, be my editor, help out with the channel. I really do appreciate everybody wants to help, but please only people with experience and you know serious inquiries only. I take the editing very seriously myself and I'm looking for somebody to kind of match that. Yeah, man. A link in the description. I'll let you guys know if anything you know, changing here on the channel at all. I could really use some help though. We're finding out just there's not enough time in the day. Let me stop talking, man. Let's get right into the video here today. Bah! Can you feel that, man? The New Mexico sun shining down on us, the mountain air blowing breeziness, the fresh smell of coyote breath in the morning. We are out here in a very interesting spot, and as you guys can see right there, there's actually some water. So this first spot that we're gonna be fishing and exploring today, I found this on Google Maps. You'd honestly be surprised at how many creeks, ponds, lakes that I've like seen on Google Maps. But here in like the desert-ish area, it's just like super dry. Like literally no water, so today, that's looking good. I'm excited, man. I feel like Ash Ketchum. We're exploring a brand new area of New Mexico. I believe this is a creek. It's like a runoff of the Rio Grande, Ariada Grande, Rio Grande, whatever you call it. Big old river over here, super full of lots of different species of fish. It did rain a lot the other day, so it's kind of chocolate milkyish. I don't know if it normally looks like that here. But on Google Maps, I found a spot that looks really, really good. It's about maybe like a mile walk down that way. So we're gonna be sidestepping through scorpions and rattlesnakes. One part though about finding fishing spots on Google Maps is the parking. I originally parked on the side of like a highway. I didn't even know this was here, but then I found this was here. Shout out to this dirt parking lot. Here are the setups for the day. I'll go over those in a second. There's the backpack and then this I think is gonna be our main player here for the day. It has been a long time since I fished with some good old night crawlers. It's gonna bring me back. It's also been a long time since we fished in a creek, so I don't know if you could tell, but I'm like super excited. So yeah, man, let me just stop talking. We're gonna get down there, dude. It's starting to heat up. This thing gets freaking hot as heck during the day here. <laughs> good luck, sneeze. All right. Let me get my stuff together. Let's get over there. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, ooh. First piece of wildlife, there's a lizard right here. Again though, let me just go down here real quick. Let me show y'all. Gets bit by rattlesnake. But that's kind of like what we're working with, at least in this part. I'm hoping that it's gonna clear up a little bit, maybe downstream. I mean, you can still kind of see through it. It's just a little, a little chocolate milky, little Willy Wonka action going on. All right, let me check my maps here. All right, yeah, no, we're going the right way. I mean, you guys who have been around the channel for a while, you guys know, I just, I love fishing, man. This is something I've been kind of missing. We used to do this back in Delaware. Just like go on the internet, find some spots that look kind of good-ish, just make an adventure out of it. It's already suitcase. I feel like I shouldn't open that. I kind of want to open that. There's honestly a possibility of potentially finding some trout in these waterways. That is something I'm super excited for. If you guys have watched the channel, man, we're like getting up to better trout fishing waters, but apparently these waters have trout in them. And also, <laughs> Apparently shopping carts. Dude, who does that? We've talked about that a lot before. People putting shopping carts in ponds. Now it's like literally we're in the middle of nowhere on a dirt path. How do you even get a shopping cart over here? How's it going? Any luck? No, no. That is a good sign. What the heck we got going on over here? Huh. This isn't the spot yet, but might have to hit this on the way back. So that's actually a pretty good sign. We saw some fellow fishermen. I don't know where they fished. I don't know how long they were here. They said they didn't have much luck. Oh my gosh though, dude. Can we take a sec? We're in freaking New Mexico. I'm sure on the GoPro you probably can't see that. There, there's like giant mountains out there. Like literally from Delaware. Coming to this is crazy, dude. <laughs> like we did not have mountains. We, we barely had like one hill. Fun fact, I think Delaware is statistically one of the most mean average uh, flattest states in the whole United States. I know Florida is like right there with them. I think they're even more flat. What can I say, man? Science. Okay, we're like off the trail now. Where the heck? I'm following Google Maps. I thought it was like a body of water we've been following. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is it. Oh my God, there's so many fish in there. What the heck? Okay. This is crazy. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. We're gonna gently put this stuff down. Dude, that's it. That's the Rio Grande right there. Rio Grande, the big Ariana. This is like a sick freaking spillway. Okay, whole thing to ourselves. Trash can right here for trash. This is a little stinky. This, I, I don't think this fishing spot's gonna be stinky. If you know what I'm saying. All right, um, yes yeah, sir. Get some of these out. 
Now I have a really small hook on my worm rod. So we're gonna like break off a little piece of this. Might need to put more split shots on here too. Please be at least like one shot down there. To be honest though, like I, I just wanna catch something. Like I, I'm down for anything, man. I'm just a kid from Delaware. So anything we catch here in New Mexico, I, I'm, dude, I am more than okay with that. Let me tighten up a little split shot real quick. All right, here we go, man, first cast. I don't know though, dude, is it snaggy down here? Oh, that's dropping actually beautifully. We don't want it to go too fast. We want it to look like kind of natural-ish. But I don't want it to get swept away into some snag either. All right, all right, all right. Let's try right there. This is exciting, man. I'm just gonna let it fall down. If there are any trout in here, I'm trying to be quiet so I don't disturb the fish. But you gotta think that they're up facing this way if they're trying to feed, waiting for something exactly like this to float down and just for them to demolish it. Dude, there, what are those over there? Oh, I think I was snagged a little bit. I really don't know what those are over there. Oh, is he going for it? Dude, he checked it out. Oh my gosh, we are loaded with something down here. I cannot tell what these are. This is just like such an old school fun way to fish. I feel like some people look down on it, like going out, fish with worms or something. I don't know. All I gotta say, man, if you haven't done it in a while, I know a lot of us, you know, this is the way we grew up fishing. We learned how to catch some bluegills and stuff. But honestly, like if you haven't just put on a worm, go to a creek, go to a pond in a while, dude. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I am in the thick of them. I can't tell what they are. Why wouldn't they eat this? That, I mean, you know, that's another thing about fishing with worms. Just about everything that swims in here probably most likely would eat a worm. Hmm. All right, let's venture onward a little bit down here. This looks snaky. Do I even go one more? I don't know much about the rattlesnake life. Y'all got some poisonous freaking snakes. Venomous, poisonous, whatever the heck. Y'all got some dangerous, slithery basilisks out here, man. I don't know what these fish are, dude. They don't want the worm, it looks like. I also don't know how pressured this area is. I mean, when I throw stuff in, they kind of like look at it. They might be carp. There's little lizards running around and making commotion. Whoa. So this is it. Wow. That looks dirty. So this is the Rio Grande, Rio Grande River. That's so cool. I know that thing's like super long. It feeds into a bunch of different bodies of water. It looks like people come out here. Oh, hello bird. No snakes, no snakes. Oh, there's some fish right there. I can't tell what they are. That was a carp. Dude, there's some carp in here for sure. Uh, so I came back to put a worm on my hook. Can y'all hear that? Some rustling and busting in this bush. Kind of got me thinking, man. Like. Could a coyote and his like whole squad just run up on me right now? Like, is that a thing in the day? Or is that just night? Or like, what's the deal with that? I mean, that honestly wouldn't be the best decision unless they're trying to get KO'd. I don't know what the heck is making that sound, dude. Is that a rabbit? Hello? Is that a New Mexican? Either way, I'm keeping a freaking eye on this bush. You hear me, bush? We gotta switch our game plan up here just a little bit. They're not biting when I'm just casting or retrieving. So we casted the worm out, it's chilling down right there, probably under a rock to be honest. But we have that, I don't even know if I talked about it yet. That is on our Mach Light spinning combo. And then also today we brought along our Mach 2, which has yet again, a little Ned rig set up right there. I wanna toss this in a little bit down there when that's just soaking up all this beautiful, not smelly water. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let's see if we get any interest on this. Oh, that rock is interested. The weather here in New Mexico is just so weird, dude. I always talked about Delaware's weather, but this might even be weirder. Oh, that's a nice rock. I don't know, I think a lot of these fish, or if not most of these fish I'm seeing are carp. Should I come back here to this spot? Bring some like corn or something? Do a little carping. I mean, dude, this place is literally loaded. I think those are carp. You kind of think that maybe they'd eat the worm too. It's probably part of their natural forage, you think, right? I don't know. Hmm.
Am I bit? I, I got a fish. Wait, what the heck? Come here, boy. <laughs> okay, what? Dude, are you kidding me? All right, just relax. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Tiny freaking hook in this dude's mouth. Oh, that is so cool. Literally, like, that is so freaking cool, man. Look at the colors. Look at the line, man. Dude, that is a freaking beauty of a fish. I'm telling you, man, size does not always matter. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I guess technically kind of from the Rio, but like this little waste management, storm drain, spillway type thing. Oh my gosh, dude. That is a freaking beauty. We're gonna let this dude go over here. Thank you so much for buying, buddy. Oh, that looks so cool, it is in the water. Do you think there's big ones in here? This is so interesting, man. I'm casting into all these fish. I think it's carp mixed with, I think, suckers. I haven't had a sucker suck me in a while. So I was kind of casting towards them. See my line start going, boop. That little dude was hungry. I'd be lying if I said, I didn't think for like one second. I thought I thought that might have been a trout, dude. My first New Mexican trout. What is jumping, dude? Ooh, I just saw a snake. He just weaseled into them reeds right there. I've said it before on the channel, but I am by no means like terrified or like like I don't have any phobias of snakes or anything. I mean, honestly, when Kelsey and I are hiking around here, like I kind of want to see snakes. But when I'm out here in the middle of random dirt road, long ways from my car, nobody in sight. It's just a little sketchy, dude. You get nipped by one of those venomous dudes out here, man. This is a little, a little sketchy. I'll tell you what, though. The one thing about snakes that does freak me out is when they're in the water. Have you ever seen a snake move in the freaking water? And if you're in the water and the snake's in the water, that's not something you want to see when you're out there doing a little breaststroke. Honestly, though, this is pretty interesting. If I was a fish, I would eat this. Maybe this place gets hit a lot. I mean, I do see like fishing stuff on the ground some places. I saw a hook, I saw a stringer, which I don't know what the heck people are stringing up on a stringer. All right, drags loose. We're gonna leave this over here for a second. I just wanna go check this out. Oh my gosh, look how crazy that is. It's like coffee when you put the, the stuff in, it like gets all cloudy. Well, there, there's a couple coming out of the smoke. Dude, look at all those fish right there. Those three right there look like the freaking Florida catfish, the, the armored, the plecos. I can't get over those. Look at, that. Look, look at how smoky that water is. That's some dirty stuff. Is it normally, like you guys from around here, is this like normally how it is? Super chalky, but also beautiful. Hello? This is so cool. I'm just taking this in right now. I actually haven't said it in this video, but if you guys are not familiar with the channel, the end of last year, my fiance and I bought an RV. And since then, we've been full-time living in it, traveling around the country. Started in Delaware, went down to Florida. Now we're in New Mexico. And this, this, this is just cool, man. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more snakes than we have. But it's just so cool seeing all these fish down here. So yeah, we're going to throw around here a little bit more. See if we can get a little lucky. I have another spot I really, really want to go to too, which probably like is, this is probably cooler than this. I think that one has more of a potential for trout, which would be so freaking sick. Real quick though, if you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel recently, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really means a lot to me. It does help out the channel. And also if you haven't and you do like the videos, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. YouTube is very weird nowadays. And if you don't hit the noti bell, then sometimes you just like, I don't know. Ooh, all right. We have to try it, right? Nice little spinner action. You never know what could be lurking. We are kind of technically in trout territory. There's a chance. Also seems like there's some bass in here as well, as well as stuff we don't even know about. I just saw a turtle swimming. I wouldn't think Franklin would munch this thing, but I guess you never know, dude. We're in, we're in New Mexico. These New Mexican turtles could be a different breed. Sheesh, it's starting to get toasty, but this is actually what I was talking about. Look, I think this is supposed to be like water. There's no water. Shout out to this shrub. But yeah, we're walking back to the truck, going to uh, go to our next spot here. All right, dude, just look at the valves out here. So this is the second spot of the day, second place I found on Google Maps. This one actually, like I'm telling you, this this might be the juice. I think we go this way. Good, Good how are you? Good, thank you. Hi. Some nice people. Okay, I'm lost. There's a fence here with barbed wire or there's this trail. Where's the water? Jeez, these are some big old freaking poles here, dude. Oh, I hear water. I hear water. Let's go. Okay, that looks good. What the heck is this? Oh, well. How much weight are you carrying back there? Not too much. Maybe like two pounds. There's not that much in it. No, there's not. It looks heavy. Bag of Cheetos in there. Yeah, right? <laughs> the Doritos too. 
Hey, thank you. What does this look like? I was going fast. <laughs> oh, big lizard. Hmm. All right, well, this is interesting. It's pretty clear-ish water. It's just definitely higher and moving faster than I would like. I don't know if this is a normal speed. Just need to figure out where the fish are, if there are fish. Come on, fish. This current is kind of pushing, but I'm hoping that this weight and this worm are gonna get down to an area where they just look like they're naturally floating. And if there's any trout down here, it might be just hard to see the fish. Trout do blend in pretty good, and maybe they'll just suck it. I'm not gonna lie though, dude, like we're in this area, and the last one kind of too, like there's a lot of bikers biking around here. That just looks so fun. Kelsey and I have been talking about getting bikes for a while. They're just so expensive, dude. If any of you guys have any uh, recommendations, please let me know down in the comments below. If any bike, you know, you know, just any bike companies are watching this, you know, hit me up, dude. Do some sick bike fishing videos. Honestly, though, I actually have some really cool ideas for that. Ah! Am I, like, supposed to walk through here? There's not, like, a pedestrian... I don't know, this is kind of freaky, dude. This is how you get pancaked by a biker. I go. I'll tell you what though, you know how I know I'm getting older? My birthday is in like a month too, which is freaking crazy. I don't even know what I did. I pulled my freaking groin hiking back up the hill. I like freaking tweaked something, dude. Oh, this is rolling. This is, yeah, no, this is rolling, rolling. So what we have to do is find an Eddie. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh my gosh, is this is a good idea. Oy. I think it's worth it. We gotta get down here. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking mud slide, freaking dirt slide. Okay, how are we gonna get back up? That's the question, but I'll figure that out later. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, no snakes, right? We're good? Hello? Let me fix this worm up real quick. So anytime, like that is a thing of beauty. Anytime you see running water coming into another body of water. There are lots of different reasons. Jeez, my worm's like falling off, dude. But there are lots of different reasons why that is a good place to fish. And I'm hoping, man. I mean, these are not ideal conditions whatsoever. But if we can like catch a fish, that's all I'm asking for. I wonder if there's anything hiding like right here. Or is this a big snag? All right, well, that just goes to show you every spot that looks good is not always good. I'm gonna just drop this down one more time. Watch, this is the time we get bit. There's a uh, big old truck thing up there. He's uh, backing up. There was also some like horse people driving around their horses. Oh, okay. Huh. This video, just another example, man. Just showing you guys, fishing is not always sunshine and rainbows, you know? Sometimes you find a spot on Google Maps, you go there, you crush them, it's the best spot on earth. Sometimes you gotta work a little bit. We need to find a spot, maybe like an overhanging tree or like a turn in the creek, somewhere where the water is gonna be a little bit less flowy. Please like definitely let me know what you guys think about these kinds of videos where, I mean, it's just like realistic kind of fishing, you know? Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Is there any fish behind it though? I don't even think I could get down there. We're just gonna eat this worm out. You see what I'm talking about though? That brush pile and the current goes around it. It's worth the shot, you know? All right, okay, well let me know down in the comments below real quick if you guys would like to see more adventures like this. I think sometimes fishing YouTube world gives like a false glamorization of fishing in a way. Let me kind of explain. So similar to like the celeb world where there's photoshopping and airbrushing uh, like for images of famous people. The more I kind of like delve into this industry, it's not 
you know, uncommon for YouTubers to go to these private ponds or secret areas and just smash the fish. Either that, or, you know, get guided and put on the fish, which, you know, y'all have seen me do in the past, with, especially with that giant gar video we just had. Now, I'm not saying all creators do this. I'm not saying that there's, you know, there's an issue with it. I'm saying it's something that's not really, you know, talked about. Like, it's fishing. If you go out and you don't catch a bunch of giants, that's okay. I find that, you know, as I continue to step more out of my comfort zone, whether it's new type fishing, uh, whether it's, you know, new creek, river, pond, ocean, bay. The more days like this, I kind of get. Unless you're like insanely lucky, you could even be doing everything right and you know, still you might not need to tear them up. It's just kind of the nature of the sport and I just sort of want to normalize these kind of fishing days. Let me know, you know, if you guys want to see more adventures like this that I think could be more relatable for a lot of people. Let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, man, we're going to continue to explore here a little bit more in New Mexico. Then we're going to be going somewhere else on this RV journey. I'm just so excited, man. I cannot wait to get to the better trout fishing areas. I gotta say though, just being out there is that that's really what it's all about. Out in the outdoors, enjoying nature you know, and the fish catches are just bonus. All right, let me know what you guys think of all that. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. I had a bunch of fun in this video. Just so you know, let me know what you guys think. Would you rather like see adventures like this or should I just not upload this? I don't know, let me know down in the comments below. I'm trying to put out as many videos as possible. But again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you, you next video. Know just well.